Lansing College in Sussex is a public school with proud traditions. But that doesn't mean the school lives in the past. In fact, the boys of the present generation seem to have established a tradition which future pupils may well accept with the reverence that is usually accorded to symbols of school history. We're referring now to a game invented by the head boy and peculiar, and peculiar is the word, to Lansing, the Ladywell game. At the start of a typical game, the captains and one of the four umpires inspect the pitch to see if there's enough mud, no doubt. We'll try and explain the game a little later, but let's say first it was invented by head boy David Smith in an effort to increase the sporting interests of the college. On looking for more ground, he found that the only piece available had a stream running through the centre, so he invented this game which utilises the stream as a halfway line, named it after the field, Ladywell. As you'll soon realise, the game is a mixture of soccer, rugby, water polo and other more unorthodox strategies. To anyone who can follow the game, we say congratulations. We don't. But briefly, as in soccer, the ball is kicked and shot between posts for a goal. That was a goal. From rugby is borrowed the idea of carrying the ball and tackling. From lacrosse, the lack of boundaries. From netball, the rule restricting the movements of players while in possession of the ball. From water polo, well, that's obvious. And from corf ball, the rule that players have to stay in their allotted sections. The rest is up to their ingenuity, it appears. Although it may look chaotic to us, the players have to conform to a strict set of rules. Only the three halfbacks from each side, for example, are allowed to cross the street, and two forwards are stationed permanently in their opponent's half. Although in the heat of battle, it's difficult to keep tabs on everyone. Pace never slackens for a moment, and from this immaculate passing, you can see that at times, play reaches a high standard. The captain of the winning team, Lords of Ladywell, head boy David Smith, is presented with a special trophy for the occasion, an old tin saucepan by the headmaster's wife. Say what you will, but the Ladywell game is a healthy outdoor sport and a tribute to the ingenuity of our youth.